Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to the channel of issues where I talk about them all. The good, the bad, the crazy, the insane, and the ones we typically talk about each other, mostly behind each other's back, because that's what we do, because we all have issues. How we deal with our issues, that is the difference. My name is Miss Charlotte. You can look at me as your favorite cousin, your big sister, your homegirl around the corner, or maybe I am big Auntie Charlotte. Now, I'm the kind of auntie that gives it to you raw, filtered and honest like the drunk auntie that shows up at the events that's me the only difference is I'm not drunk I am very sober and we are dealing with real issues I know it's not the most popular thing I know you want to escape you can escape later but sometimes it's just better to deal in order to heal so we're going to get right into it I want to talk about excuses Excuses is the quickest and easiest way to rob yourself of anything that you truly want and or desire. If you use an excuse and you keep using it over and over again, the more you use excuses, the better you're going to get at using excuses and coming up with excuses. Trust me, I know. I think I shared this with you before. Actually, I did when I'm on my way to gym all the way going to the gym I come up with probably a 50 excuses why I shouldn't go to the gym but I just keep driving that's one of the practices just have your excuses but just keep going execute 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 execution is truly the only cure for excuses just execute it whatever it is and so for me going to the gym I drive to the gym the whole time I'm making excuses and trust me I can these excuses are real I'm like I'm tired I worked all day I can go tomorrow I worked at the gym over the weekend I don't have to go that's what I'm saying but I just drive all the way there because I know if I do not drive if I do not execute I'm gonna go home one of those excuses that's very rational to me is going to work and is going to convince me to not go to the gym and that's with life and I just wanted to share a little bit to help you understand why excuses are so I guess normal when you were raised your parents kind of used an excuse as a safety thing for you you know it was to try to keep you safe and out of harm so they would tell you things like you know um, you need to have a job so that you know you never go hungry and you can have you know a roof over your head you know don't be a creative get you a nine to five because creative you know you might not be able to make it that's a, a sane and safe excuse and it comes from out of love okay and then we also have like this I don't know defense mechanism we want to protect ourselves so we will find an excuse to not do something we can say we're afraid of something you know or we're scared or we feel like some, you know other people won't like it or other people will hate us we can come up with very rational reasons as to why we shouldn't do something and it's a safety thing also you have haters not only can you deny yourself and tell yourself no, but you have other people that will come and be like, yep, you right, you right. And they will help you with the excuses to keep you down. So be very careful with excuses. So I'm gonna share two tips that could probably help you to learn to stay away from the excuses and to execute something. The next time you want something and you have an excuse, write the excuse out and then read the excuse okay so let's say the excuse is I'm not gonna be good at it then the next question is why why you're not gonna be good at it answer that and then after you answer that question then the next and the next ask ask about maybe three or four questions and that will get you to the root of it and the next exercise is when you really want something you'll do anything to get it so perfect example you could be tired you could be sick and you don't want to go to the gym okay and you could convince yourself oh I feel like I got a little cold coming I feel a little under the weather I'm just gonna go home I'm just gonna relax but then if you get that call and somebody say girl I got front row tickets to Rihanna's concert you want to go or what child of setting <laughs> what code you ain't got no code all of a sudden you got energy you ready to go that's because it's something you really want to do you really rather go to the concert 
than to go to the gym. And that's just real. That's just being honest. So ask yourself. If you understand what I'm talking about, give me the thumbs up. If you don't, give me the thumbs down. And as always, leave it in the comment because you never know who you are helping with your comment. And no matter what, no hate or you will get blocked. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel and follow me on social at Miss Burley to you. And until next Wednesday, I'll see you later.